Five things you need to know before start making your first amigurumi. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Bianca from Crochenix and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about five very important things you must know before you start crocheting your first amigurumi. Well, amigurumi is a Japanese art of creating small stuffed toys by crocheting like this cute one that i have here well it is a perfect uh, way to explore your creativity and make some cute and personalized gifts for your friends your family and all your loved ones so let's get it started with five important things that you need to know before starting your first amigurumi tip number one choose the right yarn and the right hook size so let's talk about the type of yarn first because it can make a big difference in your finished toy for amigurumis it's best to use a lightweight yarn with a tie twist that won't split easily while you crochet also when talking about amigurumis it's best to use a smaller hook size than the recommended to keep your stitches tight and avoid creating these holes between stitches um, this is not very cool when talking about amigurumis because stuffing starts to come out of these small holes and we want the stitches very very closed so i talked about the yarn first and now talking about the hook because the tip is to use appropriately um, yarn and crochet hook and always observe what is written in the yarn um, package so for example i have this one it's a famous brazilian brand but this is the brand that i use here and um, it's called amigurumi and the name of the brand is circulo it's a very good yarn it's a hundred percent must rise cotton yarn and every time my customers ask me which type of yarn is that um, from everything that i have read so far it's very similar to katona from shapius it, they recommend they even recommend the same crochet hook and also hobby it, they, they are very similar this one with katona from shapius and hobby they are very very similar and here in the package they say they recommend to use like from two millimeter to four millimeter crochet hook size i usually use a 2.2 or 2.5 millimeter hook size if i use a four millimeter for example which is one of the the sizes they recommend um there definitely would be some holes in between stitches which is something that we don't like while crocheting tip number two learn the basic stitches yeah the second thing you need to know is to learn the basic stitches amigurumi requires only basic stitches like you learn the magic ring and the single crochet increase decrease front loops back loops um slip stitches um when you start advancing a little bit and creating different clothes for your dolls things like that um, you do need to know how to make a half double crochet double treble crochet for example but in the beginning and being honest talking about myself here it took me quite a long time to learn these other stitches because i never needed them i started creating small um small toys and animals like a rabbit or a small dog or a fox and the single crochet was good enough to do these toys and i learned how to master it and before going to the next um, stitches tip number three use stitch markers and i started laughing with this one because i mean stitch markers are essential when crocheting so you keep track especially in a round crochet piece like amigurumis um it's very easy to get lost so the stitch markers are essential to keep track where you are in your crochet piece i have some uh, stitch markers here um, this is the simple one the simple clip that i use and i have lots of them um, i already purchased different designs but i didn't like them so much so i keep it simple with these ones in there so cheap but there are some people who don't like to use stitch markers because yeah um if <clears throat> sorry depending on the on the toy that you're making stitch markers can create a small hole between stitches 
I don't mind because my stitches are so tight that it doesn't make much difference. But um, some people prefer to use a yarn of a different color, for example. Um, my husband do knows how to crochet, I taught him, and he loves it too. And he doesn't like using stitch markers. He prefers to use a different color, for example. Um, if he's crocheting a um, uh, doll head, which is a beige color, um, he uses like a pink or a red piece of thread to mark um, to mark the place where he is, like the beginning or the end of the round. But it's a matter of choice, really. The most important thing here is to use something to mark um, where you are. Like, I like to mark my first stitch. There are some people who prefer to mark the last one. Again, it's up to you. But mark a point that you know that you will remember. Um, I mean, kids are going to call you if you do have kids. Um, or the mailman will ring your doorbell, your telephone will ring, you'll forget that, um, I don't know, the coffee in a coffee machine. And when uh, we have lots of distractions at our home, and especially in the beginning, it's difficult to find ourselves in a round crochet piece. So you look at it and you say, oh my God, I have no idea where is the first stage of this, of this round. So it's really, really important to keep track using markers. Tip number four, stuffing and shaping. So to create a well-shaped amigurumi, you must use the correct amount of stuffing and put it evenly throughout the toy. Um, there is a variety of stuffing in the market, like polyester uh, fiber or cotton. Um, I don't know, there is a huge variety of stuffing out there. But the important thing is that, for example, I took like a big piece of stuffing here. Um, do never stuff your toy like this with a big, big amount of stuffing in your hands and you simply put it randomly in your doll. Um, I always recommend like making small balls of stuffing and put it in your toy patiently. And stuffing is a matter of patience, okay? I also talk about it in another video in which I teach how to... I give some tips to create a square crochet piece um, especially the the crochet hat and one of the main tips that I give in this video is regarding stuffing because sometimes we're not patient enough and we just want to stuff it all at once but it won't work it won't work in a square piece but it doesn't work very well in a round one also um, so yeah always stuff it you stuff your toy patiently making small balls and stuff them like very calmly. <laughs> tip number five, follow a crochet pattern. So the fifth and final tip that I want to give you in this video is to follow a pattern, but especially a proper one according to your knowledge and your crochet level. And what I mean is that if you're a beginner, pay attention to the level that the pattern is demanding from you. Um, if you're a beginner, don't purchase an intermediate or an advanced level pattern because the toy will probably demand too much from you, will demand some stitches that you don't know, and um, your toy probably won't look, won't have the final result that you're expecting, and you can get frustrated out of it. And guys, nowadays, the amount of beautiful patterns available out there is so huge. Um, I mean, there are beautiful patterns designed only for beginners, only, I mean, for intermediate and advanced level. So always pay attention to the level of the pattern. I mean, I always talk about it, but for me, it is very important because um, I don't want people to feel frustrated while crocheting. I mean, it's, it's essential for me that you um, take a PDF pattern and you understand everything that is written in it. And if you like one pattern, you are at, I don't know, Etsy store or Ravelry, and it's not written there uh, which level the pattern is, you can always message the designer, the seller, and talk to this person, ask them, um, I mean, which level is the pattern uh, requiring, because I'm sure they will answer. I mean, I always do. Every time someone comes to me in my stores and they ask me, oh, I'm a beginner, do you think I can do that? Sometimes I say, mm, well, this one demands too much, I don't know. Or if it's an intermediate, but 
beginner to intermediate level, I always say, okay, um, it demands a little bit more, but I'm here, I will help you, I'll guide you through the process. So yeah, always message the seller, the designer, because um, talking about myself, every time someone sends me a message, it's like a huge, huge pleasure to answer, to help everyone. So I prefer if you send me a message asking me about the level of the pattern, first then purchasing a pattern and feeling frustrated out of it so there you have it five important things you must know before start making your first amigurumi well i really hope you find this video helpful and if there's any other tips and tricks for beginners that you might find helpful please write here in the comments below and i would love to read all your suggestions that's it Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more crafting content and well, I see you in the next videos. Bye bye!